Hi, this is Scott Sischer, Associate Editor of JCI, and I'm joined here by Supinda Bunyavanic, who is Assistant Professor of Pediatrics and also of Gen Genetics and Genomic Sciences at Mount Sinai School of Medicine. Welcome. Thanks for being with us. We're going to be talking about a new article entitled Peanut Milk and Wheat Intake During Pregnancy is Associated with Reduced Allergy and Asthma in Children, Supinda's first author. This is a huge topic, what mothers eat during a pregnancy and outcomes for their children and allergy. So tell me about uh, what went into constructing this study. What were you looking for? Well, the, the motivation for doing this is because allergy and asthma are really growing as clinical and public health problems in the United States. And because the immune system takes form during the fetal period, it's really possible that exposures during the intrauterine period can have an impact on the development of allergy and asthma in childhood. So in this study, we decided to follow 1,277 mother-child pairs from early pregnancy all the way through mid-childhood, which is around eight, to try to see if what mom ate during pregnancy was associated with allergy and asthma outcomes in mid-childhood. So a huge cohort, they're kind of like the general population, not pre-selected. That's correct. So these 1,277 mother-child pairs were not selected for allergy, asthma, or any disease, and their characteristics were similar to those of the general U.S. population. So give us a little bit of what you found. So in this cohort, we found that food allergy was surprisingly prevalent, so 5.6% of the children had food allergy. We observed that among these 1,277 mother-child pairs, maternal intake of peanut during the first trimester was associated with a 47% reduced odds of peanut allergic reaction in mid-childhood. Maternal intake of milk during the first trimester was associated with reduced odds of asthma and allergic rhinitis. And maternal intake of wheat during the second trimester was associated with reduced odds of atopic dermatitis uh, in mid-childhood. So it's kind of shocking results in a way, but it is consistent with the recommendations that have rescinded the idea of mothers avoiding peanut, for example, during pregnancy. Right, so our findings, I think the take-home message is that our findings do not support avoidance of specific foods during pregnancy. Um, if anything, our study supports that early introduction of food proteins rather than delay or avoidance may actually be, be helpful in inducing tolerance rather than allergy. Did you worry that maybe the participants were eating these allergenic foods because they were less allergic to begin with and it's sort of a reverse causation situation? We thought of that and to try to get to that potential issue, we did stratified analyses where we looked at moms in this cohort who were allergic um, versus moms who are not allergic and looked at whether or not their dietary patterns were different and they were not. Okay. Well, that's an extremely important study and I encourage you to read it in JCI and I thank you for joining us and uh, it's terrific work. So congratulations. Thank you.